everyone! Welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here, we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. In this video, we're going to show you how you can make a slow-mo video easily using Filmora 10. So keep watching this video till the end. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Have you ever seen slow-mo videos on different platforms like TikTok and Instagram? They look interesting, right? Have you ever wondered how they make such slow-mo videos? In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can make slow-mo videos with only simple steps. To get started, make sure that the Filmora 10 video editor is downloaded and installed on your computer. We've attached a link in the description below from where you can easily download and install it. Let's get started! Before getting started with making slow-mo videos, there are some things to be considered while recording the video using your smartphone. First of all, let's talk about the camera settings. Open the camera on your smartphone, switch it to record mode. If you're an iPhone user, you can see resolution and frame rates on the upper right corner of the screen. Make sure to select the highest FPS. If you're an Android user, you can check the setting of the camera for FPS. The purpose of choosing the highest frame rates per second is to make the video smooth. The higher the frame rate is, the smoother the slow-mo will be. Frames per second is the speed at which the images of a video are shown in a second. Let's compare footage with different FPS for better understanding. These three videos are recorded with 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and 120 FPS. We have applied the slow-mo effect to all of them to let you understand the importance of using higher FPS. This footage is recorded at 30 FPS. It is not that smooth. This one is recorded at 60 FPS, which makes it a little bit better than the previous one. Now this one is recorded at 120 FPS. As you can notice, the video is smooth and has better quality than both of the earlier footages. Now let's check our PC to see whether it supports these frame rates or not. To do that, right-click on the screen and select Display Settings. Under the Display Settings, click on the Advanced Display Settings. Here, you can see the refresh rate of your monitor. If it is equal to or higher than the frame rates of your phone's camera, then it is perfect. If your monitor is only capable of 30 FPS, no matter what frame rate the video is, you can only see the result of 30 FPS. Make sure your PC supports the FPS at which you have recorded your video. Lastly, let's check the video properties. It is a common problem that through many ways we transfer our video from phone to PC, it compresses the resolution and decreases frame rates of the video. To ensure that the video frame rates are the same, open the directory which contains the video, right-click on the video, and go to its properties. Under the property panel, go to the details. Here, you can find the actual FPS of the video. After making sure everything is fine, let's move toward Filmora to make a slow motion video. Open Filmora. Import your recording by dragging it into the media panel or simply clicking on the import button. Drag the footage into the timeline. We only want to slow mo some part of the video, so we split the video with the scissor icon. Right click on the part that you want to apply slow mo, select speed and duration. Let's change the speed to 0.25 and hit OK. And we're good to go. Let's see the results. Great, it is so smooth. So now you have learned how to make slow motion videos using Filmora 10. Try it yourself and let us know about the outcomes in the comment section below. We would love to read about your experience. Thumbs up if you like this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks about Filmora 10. Hope to see you in our next video. Till then, bye!